All right, thanks, guys. Happy Friday morning to you. And with our 3 and one day yesterday on Patreon, we improved to 6-1 and one straight up in our last seven underdog tier package picks on patreon.com slash brockpage. And that's good for 86% during that short span. And, of course, that's a website that I operate that gives you premium daily sports picks beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We're also 9-2 and two straight up in our last 11 plays in that same category. Good for 82% during that stretch as well. And we'll, tick, uh, we'll get to talking a little bit more about that in just a second. But before we go ahead and move on, let's take a look at some KBO South Korean baseball action. A lot of these games broadcasted on ESPN. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Hanwha Eagles squaring off against the Kaiwoom Heroes in a 4 a.m. Eastern first pitch. Kaiwoom's minus a buck 80 with the total at nine and a half juice to the over. And if you like Hanwa in an upset, they're plus 135 on the money line and minus 105 catching the run on the run line. And speaking of the Eagles, they're coming fresh off a 5-3 to three loss to this very Kaiwoom squad. They gave up double-digit hits during the loss. They also dropped two out of their last three, including a 5-2 to loss to Wyverns. Hama scored three runs or less in three out of their last four. Now, Kai Woom on the other side, they've been victorious in two out of their last three, including a solid 3-2 to victory over the Kia Tigers. They're currently 3-1 and one thus far in the season, good for a win percentage of 750. They also gave up just seven total runs in those three wins. Now, total-wise, two out of Kai Woom's last three stayed under the total of nine and a half runs. Meanwhile, on the other side, three out of Kai Woom's last four stayed under that number as well. Might not be too bad of a spot here for under betters, getting it at a very good price point. Give me the Kai Woom Heroes minus one, getting the job done on the run line and the under nine and a half in that contest. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's KBO baseball action. Now, before we go ahead and move on with the program, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash rockpage. We went 3-1 and one in our premium picks on that website yesterday, and that's going to improve our record to 6-1 and one straight up in our last seven dog of the day tier package plays. Good for 86% in that span. We're also 9-2 and two straight up. In our last 11 underdog tier package plays in that same category. Good for 82% in that category as well. And that is a very good package for us right now. Now we do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. Currently we have well over 550 members signed up and active on that page now, you might be wondering, why would all those folks sign up to receive Patreon picks where they can actually get them right here for free on YouTube? And that is certainly a great point. It's certainly a great concern. But there is a big problem with me handicapping every single game that's on the board side in total. And the problem is this. If you were to go ahead and bet every single game that's on the board that I put out here on YouTube side in total, you're virtually guaranteeing yourself failure. And I know that sounds crazy, but you just have to hear me out. If you're going to bet every single game that's on the slate with your hard-earned money, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. And as a matter of fact, it's a recipe for disaster. The books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. They have a lot more money than you and I do combined to be able to absorb that kind of action. Most important, guys, the math becomes aggressively against you the more and more games you play like that. So what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you. I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day. They're high percentage picks, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on YouTube, handicapping every single game that's on the board side in total. And the good news is this. If you want to go ahead and check out my current Patreon record, you have access to that right now, and you don't need to sign up for anything. You can access my current Patreon record for free at this moment. It's located right on the homepage. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash brockpage. 
Without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive back into some more free lines and personal liens right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we have Kia Tigers taking on the Samsung Lions in a 4 a.m. first pitch. The Lions are minus 130, totals 9.5, juice to the over. And if you like Kia in a slight upset, they're minus a buck ten on the money line and minus 155 catching the run. And speaking of Kia, they're coming fresh off a 5-0 shutout loss to this very Samsung team. They've also dropped two out of their last three, scoring just two total runs in those defeats. Their 1-3 record thus far in the very short season puts them in last place. They also scored just four total runs in their last three straight losses. Now Samsung on the other side is giving up four runs per game on average, which should be good enough to keep them in this ball game. Now when it comes to the total, three out of Samsung's last four stayed under the total of nine and a half runs. Two out of Kia's last three stayed under that number as well. Might not be another bad spot for an underplay here. Give me the Samsung Lions, minus 130. And the under nine and a half in that contest. Next match, KT Wiz taking on the Duzon Bears in a 4 a.m. Eastern start time. The Bears are the $1.95 favorite in the total at nine and a half. Wiz are plus 140 on the money line and plus 105 catching the run. And speaking of the Wiz, they're coming off a massive 12-3 victory over this very Duzon team. They amassed 22 total hits in that affair. And dropped a six bomb in the fifth inning. The Bears on the other side dropped two out of their last four, including an embarrassing 8-2 defeat to the LG Twins in the season opener. The Bears gave up 20 total runs in their last two losses. Now, total-wise, three out of Duzan's last four got over the total of nine and a half. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Wiz's last three straight games got over that number themselves. Not too bad of a spot for an overplay here. Give me the KT Wiz plus one, getting the job done on the run line in the over nine and a half. Next contest, LG Twins taking on the NC Dinos, 4 a.m. start time. The Dinos are minus 130, totals nine and a half flat. And if you like LG in an upset, the Twins are minus a buck ten for a win and minus 150 catching the run. And speaking of the Twins, they're coming off an embarrassing 13 to five loss at the hands of this very Dino squad. They gave up six in the fifth, two in the sixth, and four in the seventh to seal their fate. The Twins are currently on a three-game losing streak, getting, uh, giving up nine runs per contest on average during that span. The Dinos on the other side have won their last two straight, including an 8-2 to two win over the Samsung Lions. Matter of fact, the Dinos are just one of two teams right now who are undefeated at 4-0 in the KBO. The Dinos are holding their opponents to just two and a half runs per contest on average. Now, total-wise, the Dinos last two straight flew over the total of nine and a half runs. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Twins saw three out of their last four fly over that number as well. Kind of a chalky lean here, folks. Give me the Dinos minus 130 and the over nine and a half in that contest. Next and final matchup, SK Wyvern squaring off against Lotte Giants in a 4 a.m. Eastern first pitch. Wyverns are the $1.50 favorite, totals 9.5 flat. And if you like Lotte in an upset, they're plus 110 on the money line and minus 110 catching the run. And speaking of Lotte, they're coming off an exciting 9-8 finish over SK Wyverns in the series opener. Lotte is one of two teams who remain undefeated thus far the, uh, in the KBO season. They're averaging eight runs per contest. They also held their opponent to four runs or less in three out of their last four. Wyverns on the other side is currently on a two-game losing streak, including an 8-4 to four loss to the Hanwha Eagles. Wyverns is just 1-3 and three thus far in the season, giving up just about seven runs per contest in those three losses on average. Now, total-wise, Wyverns' last two straight flew over the total of nine and a half runs. Meanwhile, on the other side, Lotte's last three straight flew over that number as well. Another pretty nice spot for an overplay here. Give me the underdog, Lotte Giants, plus one. Getting the job done for some run line cash. And the over nine and a half in that contest. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon, uh, where once again, we went three and one in our four premium sports picks 
on that website yesterday. Good for 75% on a Thursday. But anyway, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content and all this great free information. Happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.